Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to test the capacity of batteries without using expensive commercial equipment. For illustration purposes, I will use these two batteries. They are 18650 batteries, lithium ion. And the first one is a Samsung. If we see the data sheet, this battery is rated at 2500 milliamps. The other one is a Chinese battery. Supposedly is 8800 milliamps. That is more than triple than the Samsung, which I really doubt. I think this is a fake battery, but we will see that by checking the capacity. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The first clue that this is a fake battery is the weight. We can see that the Samsung battery is 47 grams, while the Chinese weighs only 32, 31 grams. The capacity of a battery is given in milliamp hours. For example, if we have a battery with a capacity of 2000 milliamp hours. This means that the battery can give you 2000 milliamps for a time of one hour. If we draw less current from the battery, for example, 1000 milliamps, then we can draw this current during two hours. If we draw more current, 4000 milliamps, then the battery will only give you this current for half an hour. In general, the formula to calculate the time is this. Capacity equals current times the time. Milliamps hours. And from here, we can obtain the time as capacity divided by current. For example, if we draw 500 milliamps from this particular battery, then the time will be 2000 milliamp hours divided by 500 milliamps, and this will be 4 hours. In order to test the real capacity of a battery, we need to draw a constant current from the battery and check the time that it takes for the battery to completely drain out. For example, if we draw 500 milliamps constant from the battery and the time it takes for the battery to drain out is measured as two hours, then the capacity according to our formula is, remember, current times the time. So we will have 500 times 2 and the capacity will be 1000 milliamp hour. The battery that I will be checking is lithium ion batteries. They are fully charged at 4.2 volts and they are completely discharged when they reach 2.5 volts. In order to drain a constant current from the battery, I will use this dummy load that I built in a previous video. The link is in the description of this video. It is now set to draw exactly 500 milliamps from the battery. The battery is just charged. We can see that it has a voltage of 4.113 volts. Now, we will connect the battery to the circuit 
we will draw 500 milliamps and when the voltage drops to 2.5 volts the battery will be depleted and we will keep the time in order to make the calculations I'm going to connect the battery and start the time Let's now repeat the process but with the Samsung battery. It is just charged up 4.166 volts. Okay, so here's what we got from our tests. The Samsung battery had a time of 5 hours 20 minutes or 5.33 hours. And the Chinese battery lasted only 1 hour 24 minutes or 1.5 hours, but with a current draw of 500 milliamps. And here we have the capacities for the Samsung battery, the capacity is 5.33 times 500, that is 2665 milliamp hours. And for the Chinese battery, we have only 700 milliamp hours. Very different from the 8800 that it is supposed to be. Okay, so there you have a simple method to test the real capacity of your rechargeable batteries. That's all for today. I hope you find this video useful and see you in the next one.